So you're searching for sources to use in your research assignment, but can't find anything you can read right away. Sound familiar? This video will teach you how to identify in a glance which sources have full online access, which you might have to dig a bit more to find, and how you can limit your results to only show you full text options. The specific label you're looking for will differ depending on the database, but generally you're looking for the words full text or read online. Here's an example search on the library's Search Everything tool. If I scan over this results page looking for those full text links, I see HTML full text, PDF full text, and full text finder on these sources. However, we need to go a bit more in depth on the full text finder option. Clicking that link takes you to a list of pages which have that source available, and the majority of the time at least one of these will allow you to read the full source. However, once in a while you will find something where none of the links provide full text. If you only want those full text results, on the search results page you can look for a checkbox or other filter with the option full text only, and that will limit to those sources that have a PDF full text, HTML full text, or full text finder option available. But if you're researching a little bit ahead of time before your assignment is due, there are ways to get sources that aren't available right away. The first option is if you see the Request Through Interlibrary Loan button, go ahead and click that. This is available for EBSCO sources where we don't have the full item in our collection. But if you click the link and fill out the form, we will be able to contact another library and request the article for you for free. There will also be a link directly to that form in the description of this video that you can also use when you don't see the option available in the databases. This process can take anywhere from a few days to up to two weeks, more commonly on the lower end of that. But when the process is completed, you will receive a PDF of the article to the email you entered on the form. So if you're working at the last minute, this option might not be for you. But if you have a while until your assignment is due, make use of this handy service. You can also utilize Google Scholar to see if the article has been made free to the public. Google Scholar is a version of Google that only searches academic or scholarly sources. If you have a specific article you're looking for, search for Google Scholar, go to the page, and then paste your title into the search box with quotation marks around it. What the quotation marks do is group the words inside together in the exact order that you wrote them which is handy for pulling only that specific title and not just any sources that happen to use a few of the words inside of them. Same as the databases, you're still looking for that PDF full text link or a read online link. Here it will be on the right column. As you can see here, we actually found free full text access for this source. Just a warning though, sometimes it will look like a PDF is available, but when you click the link, it will take you to a paywall. If that happens, don't pay. Just go back to the interlibrary loan form we mentioned earlier, or if you're pressed for time, keep looking for other links for that source. When you're using quotation marks, you can use the standard Google search to find that specific title in a hurry as well. And as always, if you're having trouble finding full text sources for your assignments, you can contact your Morris librarians. We're happy to help you out. 